guys hey welcome to the channel my name is Danis Lille and thank you for being here this is a continuation recording of the previous recording yes uh, about shadows so on the previous recording I mentioned that shadows are mostly caused by traumas past pain uh, childhood uh, pain trauma heads uh, disappointments judgments you know shame you name it all those things that's what creates this shadow or that's how we get inflicted by shadow because it's something you, you know shadow it's 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 an attachment you know we 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 become attached to this thing or it attaches itself to us this shadow so shadow is just a layer it's a layer we need to just peel off ourselves we just we can just remove it like oh you know like that's the way you just change yourself off it so when you do the shadow work you literally what you're basically doing is literally just tinting yourself off something that you are not because you're not the shadow you are the person behind the shadow. So a shadow, we can say it's like, um, you know, like a black curtain when you are inside the house and you have this black curtain and you are unable to see outside because of this. The only thing you can see is the black curtain. So when you remove the black curtain, that's when you can see the birds, the light, the skies. And and it's not even the, the, a curtain because it's, it's got no substance shadow has no substance so it's just it's like um not even paint you know just something that you just you can easily remove you know like a pencil like you know when you you you, you erase it it just you know it completely completely leaves like you can just completely remove it you know that's what a shadow is. It's got no substance, nothing, no power, no substance. And it's a pity that we have been giving this thing uh, so much power, this thing, so much power over our lives. It's, it's because of the lack of knowledge, okay? It's fine, it served its purpose. It was just, it's nothing. A shadow is nothing but um, just that, an illusion. It's a delusion. It's not there. However, we had to operate from this delusion and illusion so we can learn. Um, we can we can learn. We learn from it. We can learn how to uh, become more. Okay, we can learn. Let's say we can learn unconditional love, basically, and learn more about ourselves and experience more and continue coming back to this planet and keep on having all these experiences so which it's fine we'll leave it <laughs> like that okay so that's what shadow is it's just it's a layer what causes the layer is basically like i said the trauma so what that's what causes the layer so it atta it, uh, it attaches itself on us um on us it's obviously psychology everything is consciousness we are our own consciousness so if people can be able to or if if people can can really be able to penetrate our thoughts or our psyche i mean that's where they can get us they basically got us that's how they can win over us so even with this shadow, it's um, it's inflicted within us or attached to us through our very own psyche. So within a psyche lay, lies this 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 layer we call shadow, a layer which needs to be removed which requires us to remove it like we to just peel to just peel ourselves off it you know yes that's what a shadow is it's 
basically nothing. It's nothing. It's got no substance. It's not real. A shadow is it's fears, it's guilt, it's shame. Those things have no substance. When we are born, when you come here and you are your own consciousness and it's clear, it's clean and uh, as we grow up, um, we are taught lies, we are taught illusions. We've been living in the system of, of lies and illusion and, you know, manipulation and deceit, you know. And through deceit, we, because we, we, we've been living in the system, it's built on, on deceit. So through that deceit, that's how we get inflicted with this shadow. We get inflicted with lies. We get inflicted with this poison, this virus. That's how we get inflicted. That's how we create or attach ourselves or we get attached to this shadow or this shadow attaches itself to us. It's like... Um, Growing up being told that, oh, when you do this, you, you, you'll you get punished. When you act like this, you'll get punished. When you do that, you'll get all those things. And we end up, we end up failing to even forgive ourselves for our very own actions or mistakes or whatever. For everything we do, we, we, we end up feeling guilty for acting a certain way because of what we were taught, not knowing that by being unable to love ourselves fully and forgive ourselves, we create fears, we create um we create we create doubts, we end up doubting ourselves, we end up um not loving ourselves the way we're supposed to love ourselves. We end up hating some of us some some people end up hating themselves. They hating themselves. They end up we end up um um, feeling shame, feeling guilty for acting a certain way or behaving a certain way. And once we do that, we end up, we that's how we operate in, in lower density. That's how we get entrapped in those lower densities because now we are unable to free ourselves of, of the guilt, the shame. The, and it's not even, it's no mistake that or no coincidence that we the most hardest person to love is ourselves is ourselves it's n it's no coincidence and in, by not being able to love ourselves we cannot rise higher than that dimension so we need to the, the hence it's very important to forgive ourselves to love ourselves so that we can free ourselves from this shadow and with this shadow when we are attached or this shadow is attached to us it keeps us on this lower densities and that's how the shadow people or those who create shadow those who originally vibrates this shadow those who are this shadow there are people who is not even a person this thing, that's how this thing feeds off us. That's how this shadow wins because it tries to attach itself on us. It attaches itself on humans so it can feed off the humans, the human psyche. So it can eat our own positivity out. It cannot survive by itself because it's an it. It cannot survive by itself because it's negative. It's a negative energy. It's just, it's a shadow. It's got no substance, no balance, no power, no strength. It's just weak, insecure. It's got absolutely nothing. It's a shadow. So this shadow attaches itself to us. So it can feed off us. So it can drink our own milk. I don't know, milk. Milkshake. So it can drink our health, our own juices, meaning our own positivity. So it can feed of us this shadow can feed of us and it's been feeding all this while all these centuries <laughs> it's been feeding of us so now it's time for us to remove that shadow to remove to detach ourselves from this shadow to detach ourselves from this illusion from this delusion that oh we made us all oh, this uh, delusion of of punishment and 
sins and oh if i do this and this all these things we've been taught like feeling not good enough feeling all these things lacking uh, confidence because of what we have done in the past what we think we are not because we grew up from certain families my family did not have this so we you end up thinking you are not worthy you end up having a different mentality thinking very low of yourself feeling very you know that's how we've been feeding and everything was designed this system was designed to keep people in lower densities so that this shadow can continue feeding of us i mean we cannot it cannot rise the shadow cannot rise beyond the third dimension i mean it's a shadow it's guilt imagine having guilt in 5d <laughs> it cannot so the shadow knows it cannot rise beyond the third dimension that's why the shadow will do anything to continue attaching itself or try everything to attach itself to human beings so our own power lies with us accepting and loving ourselves exactly the way we are and saying hey we have been taught to not love ourselves but guess what i'm gonna love myself i'll start loving myself the way i'm supposed to love myself i'm gonna start accepting myself i'm gonna start being positive more positive even to us not to other people to it starts with us so that's what we call a shadow that's what a shadow it's a layer and how we we, 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 we completely detach from it it's through loving ourselves so that's how we can detach from from shadow it's just something we need to just we pe just peel it off ourselves it's like we we remove it we just peel ourselves you know we peel it off as like hey sorry not here just go and imagine if it's just there and there's no one to attach itself to it's gonna go completely mad hence they are doing everything whatever it takes because they have no substance without feeding off us without us giving in without us supporting and maintaining this thing and enabling without us enabling them so uh, that's what a shadow is. That's why we need to detach. It's literally nothing. Yes, on my first recording, I mentioned the trauma. So that's how it we get inflicted by this thing, you know. And yes, but basically, it's absolutely nothing. It's got no power over us. It's nothing. And we are here and we're doing this. And that will be all. So I am out and... <laughs>